Uh, where does Devin Haney? Where does Devin Haney rank amongst all the fighters you face to the pros? You know, Linares, Gary Russell, Tiafimo. Where does Devin stack up? If you're talking about Linares, if you're talking about Lopez, for me they are better than Haney. Okay, so Devin Haney is not a pound for pound fighter. Hmm. So Devin Haney beat the man that beat the man that beat you. Beat you and turn around and beat the person that you said that he's better than, but he's not a pound for pound fighter? Make that make sense. And to add insult to character, didn't Lomachenko make fun of Devin Haney for getting hurt by Linares? So basically he used Linares as some kind of person to look down on getting hurt by because when Lomachenko was asked about Devin Haney he was like man Devin Haney got hurt by Linares basically saying like no Linares is not nothing and then now that Devin Haney has beat him he's saying that Linares is better than him and he beat him and Linares that doesn't make any sense none whatsoever and then to add on top of that if Devin Haney is not a pound for pound fighter then what you're trying to say is Luke Campbell is because what doesn't make sense of him not giving Devin Haney his credit to this day Lomachenko claims that Luke Campbell was his best fighter which was Ryan Garcia's first step up fight okay so his toughest fight was Ryan Garcia's first step up fight and Lomachenko gave him more of a competitive fight than Luke Campbell but yet He's saying Linares and Teofimo Lopez is better than him. Yet he beat the man that beat the man that beat him and the person that he's saying that he's better than. That don't make no sense, Loma. That don't make no sense whatsoever. Once again, just out of touch with reality. And this is why, at the same time, he tells you that he thanks Teofimo Lopez, but then turn around and say... He's never lost a professional fight. This is his issue. And this is what people issue is. You know. They tried to keep his record undefeated. They tried to make him out to be the next whatever. He just wasn't at the end of the day. And Loma is stuck in this crybaby pampering mode. You know. To the point he can't be realistic about what's going on. Devin Haney was the best fighter that you have fought thus far. And the other thing is this, I'm getting tired of the excuses. It was an excuse with Salido. It was an excuse with Teofimo Lopez. And now it's an excuse with Devin Haney. There was always gonna be an excuse. Devin Haney could have knocked him out. It would have been he was too old. Devin Haney could have did this. It would have been because Devin Haney woke up in the morning. You know, Lomachenko could have uh, 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 not showed up to the fight. It would have been Devin Haney's fault. You know what I'm saying? No, the point is, no matter what Devin did, the detraction was always waiting right there at the finish line for him. He's going to make sure that you wasn't going to give him no credit, no way. That's why it doesn't matter what the boxing world says, because the boxing world is ruled by casuals. The real boxing fans are in this sport underneath the casuals, you know, and the casuals speak for the sport rather than the people who really know the sport. And that's the issue at the end of the day. But then again, that's just my opinion. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.